Welcome back to Let's Play Days of Your Life, Dear Boss Blind. It's been a while. Not nearly as long as it was uh, in the previous one. But it's been a while nonetheless. Fear can kill you, but amphibian like fiends will. As I'm sure I will learn pretty quickly. So we cleared out this uh, shithole of a residence in the previous recording. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I did anyway. Everything clear? Yep. And that is that, so I guess we'll be on our way. This is the door out, isn't it? I'm not looking forward to this, so I gotta be honest, I've been dreading this section. Because if it's anything like Jill's one, it's gonna suck. <laughs> What's my inventory looking? I forgot to frickin' do that. I'm an idiot. Back her up! Back her up! Oh, well, fuck it, I'm gonna take the wind crest with me. Get that old magnum shit and stuff while on the way to the hellish place. That is the mansion. The mansion post residence. Which is terrible. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad! Damn! Well, at least that's being relevant again. I think I have in Jill's playthrough. I don't like it, man, because I know what's coming. <laughs> It's not only the freaking amphibian like abomination that I look out for. Oh, this place as well. Um, get my bearings, uh, ah, ah, um, mm, ah, mm, mm, ah, yeah, that's shit hole. And, uh, that's the shit hall, and, uh, yeah, mm huh, yes. Hell hounds! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Run Like Fuck. Yeah. Snakes! Oh, he got me! Bitch! Where, where is it? Ah, oh, he got me again! Oh, I've been poisoned, haven't I? I fucking hate this place. Snakes are the worst. Yep, poisons. God fucking damn it. And because Chris's inventory is freaking tiny as shit, it's freaking impossible to carry this kind of stuff around. You're like, oh, blue herb, just in case you get poisoned. Well, it was kind of inevitable. I could have brought that, but I would have had to freaking put something else in storage, because Chris has the worst inventory space ever. And ironically, there was a blue! Oh, I ran right into a wall. Oh, this is not good. Fucking God. Oh, Chris, you are the worst. I don't care what the internet says, you suck. Jesus Christ, and a drop kick too for my troubles. I fucking hate hellhounds. That's a freaking I got a headache, man, but. Well, I've always got a headache, but still. 
Jesus Christ, this is just terrible. At least let's cure the poison, but I'm in the freaking... Oh, what's all this shit now? Take the flash grenade. I'll take the first aid, and I don't think I'll be able to pick up this. Yep. It's a shitty situation we find ourselves in, as usual. Use this to protect yourself from the mo at monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fix a doorknob to make sure you can get away, Wesker. Wesker, Wesker, you sure do freaking copy and paste Barry's freaking text, don't you? Uh, this sucks. Anything there other than, you know, a toolbox that you won't even open, because I know. You don't open things logically in this game, as has been established long ago. Oh, I hate this place. Look at that, man. It's like, just like, it's because the freaking camera angles, they're fixed, so it just makes it like sometimes you just freaking walk into walls, and that's how I got attacked by three freaking hellhounds. Which I don't think is, well, ever happened in that location since freaking God knows how long ago. I know you're there, zombies. In fact, I can see one over there. Chris! 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 Chris, you just don't care, do you? Now do I. The bird really does destroy my freaking ears. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in your ass. I mean the heavens. I forgot, you gotta do this shit manually because Chris doesn't put one and two together. I'll be taking this. I have to do this for all three of them because you are an idiot and can't freaking do this shit yourself. Yeah, two projecting lines bullshit. You just stay there, sir. He's gonna waste my grenade! <laughs> oh, this is the worst part. I should have freaking waited a month to freaking record this. You know why? Because last time I did that, the previous two parts happened. And the two previous parts are probably the best I've done in this game in a long time, you know? The longer time between recordings, the better, it seems. This part, I've lost a grenade. And I've got my ass kicked by freaking hellhounds, which surprisingly has been quite a long time since that's happened. It's because I've gotten better at just avoiding any freaking location where they are. It just sucks. The hellhounds are too overpowered for freaking enemies that have got so much range. It's easier to dodge the freaking fast moving zombies than it is to dodge the hellhounds. It's terrible. Now the game's like, here, here is one of the most powerful weapons in the game, but it's gonna take a bit inventory. And I'm like, well, fuck shit balls ass. Here we are. I can't even pick that up, can I? It's a bit of a shame, but hey. That's what happens when you got the fucking worst inventory space. I mean, look at Chris here. 
Look at him. He's got that jacket on. It's about to have a bunch of pockets. But he can't freaking do anything. Uh, this is gonna suck. Okay. Let's have a look at the map. When we enter here... Well, I can't run to that one, because, uh... Well, we'd be kind of fucked if we went that way, because you still haven't got that shitty-ass key for the freaking gates, because your inventory sucks. And so we could potentially run... And run, and run some more. Oh boy. Here it comes. Where the fuck was it? Run away! Wrong door! Run away! Oh shit, there's two of them! There's two of them! Game is rigged! Game is rigged! Game is... Oh! Jesus Christ! It's literally like the game is like, you know what? You're gonna have to fight your way through one of these guys at the very least. Ain't no way getting past them! Jesus Christ! And you know, freaking goddamn shitty ass Chris gets the worst fucking choice. So he doesn't even have a grenade launcher. He sucks. I hate you, Chris. You're inferior. I don't care if you supposedly got slightly more stamina than Jill and could take a few more hits. Because it doesn't amount to shit here. Because you just get your ass kicked all the bloody time and I hate him so much. I hate this part of the game. I hate it. Oh, it's so horrible. Hate every... Just, uh. First, you get drop kicked. Ripped apart your arms and shit by frickin' hellhounds. Then you get hit by a zombie waste grenade. And then you get killed by amphibian motherfuckers that think, Oh, you know what? I'm gonna rip off your frickin' face. Oh, you know what? Fuck the key. Seriously, fuck the key. It's taking up inventory space. And we aren't gonna get to a fucking door. Like, straight away. So who gives a fuck about that, right? So fuck that shit. Instead, let's... Where the fuck did I put it? Take the shitty wind crest. Uh, what else should we do? I really hate this part of the game. I really, really do. You know what? Fuck it. Let's bring the ammunition so we can pick it up along the way and hopefully don't die, which he inevitably will, because Chris is a weak piece of shit. I don't care. He can't freaking take much damage at all. He's just like, how are you supposed to dodge two giant motherfucking amphibian freaking mutant freaks that feel like the freaking battle toads on crack just show up? And try to freaking maul your ass. And they're much like the hellhounds in that you just can't dodge them. You have to freaking fight at least one of those fuckers to get past. Ain't no freaking stopping that shit. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Here's a sign. I'll stick my middle Brad. finger up. Can you Can see you it, Brad? Fuck you, Brad. Brad. You do nothing until the fucking end of the Damn. game, Brad. You suck, Brad. All you do is just like, be like, oh, can anyone hear me? But the radio sucks, so you can't hear anyone, so just shut the fuck up, essentially, you know? Bastard. Just put me in a shit mood, that ass, you know? Being mauled by these freaking obnoxious hellhounds here, and freaking amphibian motherfuckers. And 
freaking not been able to get into things so easily because of freaking walls and tank controls and freaking fixed camera angles. They fuck you up, man. They fuck you up. And then you got these fucking snakes. They're all like, <laughs> Snakey's gonna snakey snake. <laughs> snakey snake poisoned you. <laughs> snakey snake, 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 snakey snake. And I'm like, fuck my back aches. And that kind of rhymes. But I don't give a fuck. Because this game is starting to get on my nerves a bit. And I've only been playing it for 17 minutes. Uh, difficulty spike, man. When I was playing on easy, it was hard. Now playing on fucking normal mode, and it's suddenly like a million times harder. I expected a bit more difficulty, but you know, this is kind of taking the piss, you know? It's ridiculous. I'll take the shitty grenade. I will also take the shitty ammunition, which isn't so shitty, but I don't give a shit. Gonna be wasting on amphibian motherfuckers, regardless of what I do. Can't pick it up, obviously. You know what? Fuck it, it's a waste of an item, but I'm gonna need to use it sooner or later anyway, you know? To heal the poison. Well, time to go pick up that guard, oh fucking shitty magnum bullshit again, eh? Ho ho ho, yeah. I fucking hate that. Here we are again, in the same old shitty situation we found ourselves in before. Seriously, Chris, why do you suck? I mean, if you didn't suck, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. We gotta do this one at a time. Chris, you can't pick up anything. You have the worst inventory management I have ever seen. I mean, think of freaking RPGs, how much items they can store, it's ridiculous. Then you got a game like this that's not even realistic, to be honest. I mean, if you, like, realistically carrying all those weapons, fair enough, you know. But if you even take out all that and just had him carry around just a bunch of ammunition and small items like this crest, it would still take up six inventory space and you wouldn't be able to carry anything else. So, with that, it's not realistic. It's unrealistic. It's stupid. I don't get it. Why must you be an idiot, Chris? God damn it. Headshots are so hard to come by, you know? Heck, even if you do get a headshot in, it doesn't count. Will you just fall on your ass, sir? For God's sake, you're doing my fucking tits. That didn't even make sense. I mean, I'm wasting ammunition on these two pointless bitches, and I don't like it. I mean, I can only really imagine coming through this area one other time in the game, so I don't... What? Not close enough, am I? Take the shitty weapon. Well, it's not shitty, it's pretty good. Don't even waste it on the other guy. Explode! What? Took its fucking time. How does that even work? 
I mean, did he pull the grenade and put it in his mouth when they explode pretty quickly afterwards? He got a shitty fuse. Or is it just waiting for the zombie to bite down on it? I don't know. I don't care. This place sucks. Okay. Are you ready? I'm not. That's why I'm equipping this instead. Honestly, the Magnum would probably do better, but you know, I'm kind of saving that for boss fights and shit. Yeah, we got our inventory space, of course, to pick that up. Because Chris, as we've established 500 times, not really, but we've established it a number of times, Chris can't freaking pick up any of it. I mean, he might as well just carry around a fucking Asda bag or some shit. He'd be able to carry more than his freaking current vision already. Just get a shopping bag, Chris. You're good to go. I wonder just how much better this shotgun is to the other one, because really, dealing with these fuckers will really have to, you know, prove its worth. You go to hell! You go to hell! You die! Okay, that right there proved the shotgun's worth instantly. You have redeemed yourself, shotgun. Even though I didn't use it up until then on these guys. Heck, I was just trying to avoid them until now. Righto. Let's uh, make a switcheroo. What should we do? Switcheroo. Ah, oh, yeah, the key, of course. Where's the shitty key? There it is. I forget why we even use the shitty key on. It's been ages. I mean, this is playing out kind of like how Jill's one went gameplay wise, only significantly tougher. I think one of the doors that used this key was over in this direction. So I guess we did need to take out both of them. At least they're not like the zombies way, it's just like they keep coming back up. There's the helmet key! So we go into this place, right, and we're like, oh, let's find some new stuff. And you know what? We can't. Well, we can, but we can't at the same time. You know why? Because Chris can't pick up anything currently because he sucks. You used up freaking ten, wait, six rounds actually, so. I know there's gonna be zombos around here. No, actually, isn't this is completely different. I remember this though. These camera angles suck. Oh, yeah. Remember when it took me ages to figure that out? Well, obviously, since now I've freaking done that before, I obviously knew what I was doing this time. But this LP is still blind because I still don't know what to expect half the time. Well, no, I expect what to do more than half the time, but still. I don't know how Chris's scenario will actually play out, you know, plot-wise. And there might also be, you know, like a few bits that are completely different. So far, there hasn't been much of that. 
So, you, so Chris gets daggers and grenades? Oh wait, that makes sense actually, because Jill got daggers and, uh, uh, what was it? A taser? Do your best James Sunderland impression, Chris. That was a poor impression. Ah oh, shit, I can't pick that up, can I? <laughs> Damn you, Chris! You were the worst! I hate you so much for this, so much! You don't even know how much I hate you. November 29th, 1967. Get a better inventory, you jackass, is what it should say. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped with shitty inventory space. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with... You can't read scientific terms very well. And those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corner. It was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica! I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th, 1967. You know, how the fuck did his diary get scattered all over the place anyway? I mean, these are things you don't tend to question in these, uh, type of games, but seriously, it's just like, how did his diary become scattered all over the freaking mansion, essentially? November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. You know what? I was watching, uh, someone playing Fallout 4. They didn't actually do a full LP of this. Like, it's the typical thing that I see that annoys me a lot whenever I watch other people's LPs. Where I'm just like, you know what? I'm curious to see more from this game. So I'd like be like, okay, let's see some other people that's playing a game. And they don't fully LP it! They go into a few parts and that's it. They just kind of like, no explanation, just stops right there. And it's just like, why? Why is it always the case? But anyways, point was, when he read, he had a very professional sound and voice, but he read it in a kind of realistic pace. While me, I read everything, so I try to get through it quickly, you know, usually. So I'd be like, instead of going, it was a dark and damp underground tunnel, and an old dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. I'd read it, like, really fast, without much pause, I'd be like, it was a dark and damp underground tunnel, and an old dead end, but even in the darkness, something caught my eye. You know, just to get it over with quickly, I mean, I ramble long enough anyway, it'd take forever. That was November 31st, 1967. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave, but deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became too clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I'd fell right into their trap. But it's too late now, I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me, may God justify my death in exchange for your safety, George Trevor. My name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. Imagine if it said Chris Redfield. He's like, what? There's a switch. We'll have to come back for the book because uh, I hope I can remember to do that. But, you know, Chris, you suck. You're the worst. Worst. Worst inventory ever. Making it impossible for me to do this in a sufficient way. There's a giant spider on the wall. Serious? That was like two freaking shots from the... I have got the... Yeah. I was wondering, and it's just like, no, I have to put that in inventory. Man, these spiders aren't very durable, are they? They're big, intimidating, but man, they go down like a sack of shit. One thing you gotta worry about is the fact that they cough up their freaking depth spray and you don't know when it's safe to pass. Oh. Number two's come to check out. Get 
that one took a little longer. Now we gotta wait it out, so let's circle dance a bit. Still pulsating. What? There's a third one? Fuck off! The live. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. God damn it. They really amp up the freaking body count, don't they? It's like, oh, t for easy mode, two giant spiders. For normal mode, three giant spiders. For hard mode and nightmare mode and shit, I have no idea. I don't know how the hell people play these games so efficiently, you know? It's like, who the hell could get for nightmare mode? It's just like, I don't know, many people, apparently. Definitely not me, though. This blows my mind, you know. Must be people that are like really attentive to details and got like really photogenic memory and be able to memorize every bit of movement they could possibly make. Because there's a mode that makes it so that the enemies are invisible. So you'd have to freaking have memorized everything. Seriously, man. Freaking see this design shit like that. Now I know you aren't alone in this place, probably. Well, actually they are, I think. It's the other uh, room that has the uh, zombies. Some more ammunition. Is that a map? Yep. You got the map. Good for you. For the love of everything, for fuck's sake, lag. Okay. Uh, what button was it? It was, yeah. Okay. I will press L1 to aim in 3, 2, 1, 0. Just to get the singing issues, because it's freaking. Oh. I'm being approached by douchebags! Oh, fuck! I should have paused or something. Oh, god damn it, they both want me! Fuck off! Ah! Oh, all because it was lagging, so I stopped in place. I didn't think they'd come for me that quickly. Jesus Christ, that sounded suggestive as well. Fucking hell. Oh, I hate this place and I hate lag. I hate it so much. This is why I hate recording with a freaking capture card, because that shit's kind of like a reoccurring freaking gag almost of sorts. I don't know, it's just bullshit. Much like Chris's crappy inventory space, it sucks. We got plenty of defense items, but we wasted most of them in this freaking part alone, really. Uh, and I expect a parish blab for the elevator, the main fuse blade, and switch to the parish blab. Remember when I came through this place first time? I was like, I ain't touching that, it looks dangerous. But that's what you gotta do, it's like fuck logic, you know, sometimes in this game. It really just makes you like, like, think in an illogical way. It's like, you see a bunch of water, you see that, that kind of generated shit, you see sparks coming off it, you don't think, oh yeah, just pull the freaking switch. 
You'd think, oh hell no. There are a number of small objects on the shelves we're not getting closer. You notice the sea of Raccoon City on our broken dish. <sighs> Go to the kitchen. Out of the way, sir. Wait. That was for the elevator, though, wasn't it? So we could technically just use the elevator to get up. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to title this part of this, right? It's a clusterfuck this part has been. Ah! Use it. It's a very cramped elevator, isn't it? I wonder what his maximum weight is. It kind of makes me think of that one elevator in Silent Hill 2. You have to get rid of all your inventory space and there's- Oh god damn! Fuck me! God! Damn it! God! Ugh. I've lost them all. I've officially lost every single one of them. Ah! Oh, God damn it! I'm so sick of this game. Oh, what?! I gotta redo everything because I got killed by a fucking. All that! All that! I got killed by a puny zombie? Chris! Ah, uh, so much from being able to take any damage, my fucking ass. I'm not even gonna fucking play any fill on that. Fuck that shit. Kiss my ass, game. Ain't gonna record a second time today, because that, that's pretty much, that's where I draw the line. I might off-screen before the next part, whenever I get around to the next part. Might off-screen, like, do what I did, and save the game, uh, save points. So I don't have to do all that shit again in the next recording. Cause that's just right there, just is just like that's why I can't say I love this game. Wow. The game's good. It's just bullshit like that is why I don't like it as much as I would, if not for I don't know. It's kinda like Silent Hill, for example. I remember playing Silent Hill 2, like in my LP of it, I remember like getting up to I think uh one of the hospitals, I think you only got to the hospital in one area thing, or whatever. And the nurses were absolutely destroying me, and I was on normal mode. It's like, but in that game, you got two difficulty settings. You got for combat, and you got riddles and shit. Like, riddles, you know, fair enough. It's like, it makes you really have to think hard, and just be like, yeah, how does this puzzle make sense? How does it work? With the combat, the combat is atrocious. And just on the normal difficulty, it just fucks you over. In this game, the combat is just kind of shit. But what the difficulty does is changes the amount of freaking enemies to make it extra bullshit. Like, remember when that freaking zombie conga line freaking came through the window and just destroyed my ass that one time? That was the same thing that happened there, except there's only two of them. And I got my ass mauled because I wasn't freaking expecting to run into a zombie. Because the camera angles are fixed, and I don't know what to expect sometimes. It's terrible. Yeah. Fuck it. I won't do any recording for this until whenever I feel like it. But not right now, because I was planning on maybe doing two recordings. But since I got a game over twice, and right at the end of this recording, I don't see a reason to feel motivated enough to do that. The funny thing is, I'd feel more like... Recording for Wind Waker, but the annoying thing is I'd have to frickin' switch the setup for the capture card just to do that. So I probably can't even be able to do that. So fuck that shit. See you next time, viewers. See you next time.